Hey, check out this cool experiment. I'm gonna take some isopropyl alcohol and mix it up with some water in this glass. Next, I'll add one drop of green food dye and then stir the mixture until it has a uniform green color. And now comes the fun part. Check out what happens when I dissolve some of this white powder, which is potassium carbonate, into the green fluid. Hey, are you starting to notice a yellow color developing in the glass? And look at that. It's separated into a blue layer on top and a yellow layer on bottom. The effect you see here is well known, and it's called salting out. Salting out happens because of various attractions between molecules and ions. For example, water and alcohol mix because water molecules and alcohol molecules have attractions for one another. However, water is also attracted to the ions in potassium carbonate. In fact, much more so. Because of this, when potassium carbonate's added to a mixture of water and alcohol, very strong attractions are set up between the ions and the water molecules. The water molecules are much more attracted to the ions than they are to the molecules of alcohol. These attractions are so strong that the alcohol molecules get excluded. They form a layer on top, while the salt water forms a layer on the bottom. But why does the green dye separate into blue and yellow? Well, the green dye actually is a combination of blue and yellow dyes, and the chemistry of each dye offers clues into why the separation occurs. There are three factors that allow the yellow dye to be more strongly attracted to water molecules than the blue dye. These include the size of the dye, the electric charge on the dye, and the number of hydrogen bonds each dye can form with water. Comparing the molecular structure of each dye, we see that blue dye molecules are 33% bigger than the yellow ones. And size matters a lot. Large molecules have a hard time dissolving in water because in order to do so, they have to push apart water molecules. And that takes a lot of energy. So it tends to be easier for smaller molecules and ions to dissolve in water than large ones. Because of this, the smaller yellow dye molecules will dissolve better in water than the larger blue ones. The second factor to consider is electric charge. The blue dye molecules have an electric charge of negative two, which is smaller than the negative three charge on the yellow dye molecules. This larger charge on the yellow dye allows for stronger attraction to water. Finally, we'll consider the hydrogen bonding that can occur between the dye and water molecules. In this case, any nitrogen or oxygen atom on these dye molecules can form hydrogen bonds with water. It turns out the yellow dye has 13 such atoms, while the blue dye only has 11. So by considering molecular size, electric charge, and hydrogen bonding, we see the yellow dye is more strongly attracted to water than the blue dye. In fact, the attraction between the yellow dye and water is so strong that it remains in the water layer even after salt's been added. The blue dye, on the other hand, is forced out into the alcohol layer. Something that's really cool about this experiment is that you can get a bunch of different results using different dyes, different salts, and different organic fluids. So hey, if you try some salting out experiments on your own and see something new and interesting, be sure to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.